Hello, I wanted to make a quick video to show you another way that you can find your Google Classroom and it's actually the preferred method. So if you know how to log into your school portal, that's great. That's where you'll start. If you need a refresher, you need to go to the school district website. That address is phyllasd.org. If you need help remembering that address, all you have to do is Google School District of Philadelphia and you will find that page. Once the home page loads, simply go to log in. From there, you will put in your username and your password. Your username is your school district identification number. Thank you very much to Sierra who's letting me log in as her so that you can see this from the student's eyes. Once you log in, you need to look here on the left side for Message Center. You will still find a lot of other information on here, but I want to concentrate on finding Google Classroom so that you can see where your work is and what your teacher's hours are. So you're going to click on Message Center. And now you have some information from school. You also have other information and access to things like Naviance, where you'll find some information. Uh, then the most important part when you scroll down is you'll get to your Google Suite. That's all the different Google programs. It's attached to your school district email. And right here, you'll see Google Classroom. Go ahead and give that a click. And then you will be able to see all your classes that you have registered for this year. Uh, unfortunately, it always logs into my teacher page, so I'm going to go back down here to Sierra, and this is what Google Classroom looks like for her as a student. If for some reason you don't see your classes, it will have to do with, with someone else using your computer and being logged in here. Right here is where you can switch accounts between yourself and the other people who might use your computer. So make sure that you have your school district email chosen here. And that's how you will make sure that you see your, your classwork. The other important thing is that all of your teachers will have a Google Meet link. So if your teacher tells you a time uh, an hour, a, a place that you need to go to meet with your class or meet with your teacher. The place that you're going to find that is by clicking on the class and then looking up at the banner. Right here on the banner, there will be a Google link for a meet for this class. So every time your teacher has a meeting set up, the link will be right here. It's the same link every time. The information about when you need to meet will be here on your stream. Make sure you check the stream every day. Right here, for example, because now I'm in here as Sierra, you can see that our meeting was at 11 on the 23rd and I gave them a different link that day. So here's a stream. This is the news that a, a teacher or the students can post right there. It's sort of like the news feed on Facebook. And then you'll find your classwork here under classwork. That's where your teachers will have assigned different assignments. In this class, I have only assigned one thing so far. So in here is where you'll see the assignment. You can view the assignment from here. The other good thing is just by going over here to add or create, that is how you create the document that you need to write on in order to answer the question that the teacher is asking you. So by adding, a document, you can choose docs or slides or sheets depending on what kind of assignment it is, or you can simply attach the document for the assignment that you've already done. After you create a new document or attach the assignment that you've already done, always please mark sure, make sure to mark it as done. I need to attach something very quickly so that I can show you what that looks like. You not only need to mark it as done, you also need to turn it in. If you don't click on turn in, then it won't actually be finished. 